My candidates are placed on top companies like EY, Deloitte, KPMG, PwC, Infosys, HCL, TCS, Google, and this is just to name a few. Speaking fluent English is really important if you want to work at top companies. It helps you talk to people from different countries, work well with diverse teams. Hello everyone, I'm Diksha Roda, your interview coach, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have incredibly important topic to discuss. How to clear a job interview if you're not fluent in English. So whether you are a non-native speaker or simply not confident in your English skills, this video is here to help you. I will provide practical tips, examples and guidance on areas you should focus on while preparing for interviews. In today's video, we will discuss 5 tips to ace your interview if you are not fluent in English. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified every time a new video is live and don't forget to click on the like button because it really helps me to understand that you are liking my content. Now without any further delay, let's get straight into the lesson. Tip number one, diligent preparation. Prior to your interview, it is crucial to engage in deliberate practice by familiarizing yourself with common interview questions. To enhance your readiness, consider practicing responses to the top 10 frequently asked interview questions. These are top 10 interview questions that you must practice before your interview. Now, to achieve confidence, you should focus on three key practices. Number one, understand the company, its culture, values and the role you're applying for. The more you know, the more confident you will feel in discussing how you fit into the organization. Number two, conduct mock interviews with a friend, family member or a career coach. This practice helps you get comfortable answering common questions and receiving feedback on your responses. Last. Practice answering interview questions on your own. Record your responses and review them to identify areas for improvement. This self-assessment can boost your confidence and refine your answers. Number two, prepare professional stories. Another key aspect of acing your interview is preparing professional stories in advance. These stories can help you illustrate your skills and experiences effectively even if you are not entirely fluent in English. Here are five professional stories that candidates should prepare for interviews. Number one, achievement story. You can talk about an incident where you successfully led a project that resulted in a X percent increase in revenue. Number two, adaptability story. Maybe you can talk about a time where you successfully transitioned into a new role in a different department. Let's say you have moved from administration to a managerial role. Talk about the challenges you faced, the new skills you've learned, and how you have thrived in the new role. Number three, conflict resolution story. You can talk about a time when you resolved a conflict between team members with different working styles. Number four, leadership story. And this one is really important. Discuss about a time when you headed a team during a critical project with a high pressure deadline. Number five, failure or learning experience. Talk about a time when you faced a setback when a product didn't meet expectations. These are the most common examples. However, they can change as per your job role and your work experiences. Tip number three, listen actively. At times, the interviewer may speak slowly or quickly, and this can make it difficult to understand the question. If this happens, don't just sit there with a blank face. Confidently ask for clarification. You can say something like, I'm sorry, could you please clarify the question? Or I didn't catch the question. Could you please repeat it or provide more details? Remember, it's better to seek clarification than to provide an answer that's not aligned with what the interviewer is looking for. Tip number four, vocabulary expansion. Learn industry-specific vocabulary and phrases. Let's say you are in a tech field. Learn words like algorithm, framework, and debugging and use them in your responses. When you use industry-specific vocabulary, you sound confident, professional, and well-prepared for the interview. Lastly, never stop learning. Language skills can always be improved. Read English books and watch English movies to immerse yourself in the language. Most importantly, watch my videos regularly. I purposely create content in English because I know most of you struggle to crack your interviews because of lack of your fluency in English. I can assure you if you consistently watch my videos and practice all the techniques that I share, you will surely see improvement in yourself. Thank you for sticking till the end. Remember to follow all these five tips and you will be well equipped to showcase your skills and experiences even if you're not a fluent English speaker. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips and share it with anyone who might benefit. Best of luck with your interviews and I'll see you in the next video. 
एंड कीप फॉलोइंग योर इंटरव्यू कोच दीक्षा अरोड़ा टू एस योर इंटरव्यू ऑल द बेस्ट गॉड ब्लेस टेक केयर एंड बाय